Hey everyone, it's Lauren here and I have a 9x12 scrapbooking layout for you here today. I'm using a cut file that I got from the Hip Kit Club and I've just taken that uh, crafters, well it says crafter stick together and I've just separated the together and the the glue gun from that cut file and I've just put that aside for the second. Now all the beautiful embellishments that you see me using here are from the Felicity Jane. Majority is the Lola collection. Now I've purchased that collection in a digital format which gives me the freedom to be able to create my own size ephemera, pattern paper, um, 3 by 4 cards, tags etc. So it's a really, if you can kind of get your head around buying digital packs then it's a really great way because you can custom uh, size your embellishments and I fell in love with the Lola collection from Felicity Jane and I've used it many a time so I knew it was a really great pack and really great value for money for me. So as you can see here, I've got three photos and a tiny little page. Now the reason why I've got three photos, which is very uncharacteristic of me normally, is because this page is going to be part of my Project Life album for 2020. So with that being said, and the fact that I can't get the page protectors that I... The, the page protectors that hold nine three by four inch portrait photos I can't get my hands on any of those I've had to come up with a way that I can still scrapbook layouts with multiple photos on them and I have to say now that I'm kind of getting on a roll with it I'm actually enjoying these smaller size but multiple photo layouts it's yeah it's put me out of my comfort zone because it's not really my go-to standard thing usually I'm a I guess a textbook 12 by 12 mixed media scrapbooker you'd call me um, so it's pushing me out of my comfort zone because there's not too much mixed media going on and I haven't got much room to make those beautiful embellishment clusters but I just really wanted to document 2020 so I'm going to try this this way and see how it comes together I'm hoping in the next few months I'll be able to do a flick through of my 2020 album maybe like the first quarter maybe January to April so you can see how my album's coming together but I'm I'm quietening off the process videos because I'm trying to find my joy just my joy of sitting in scrapbooking and not worrying about whether my lighting's right or if I got everything in view can people see all my embellishments and things like that I've just felt that I've needed some time just to sit and scrapbook and I have really enjoyed that so here you go, I, I have this gorgeous cut file, craft to stick together and the photos that I'm scrapbooking are of a recent crop day that I held here locally with my crafty girls and so I really wanted that um, white cut file not to get lost on the white background so just using a blending tool and one of my super old Stampin' Up! inks I've just blended out that yellow um, ink just to sort of smooth that background and as you can see that crafter stick is really now starting to come together so here I am I just set my page out earlier just to check everything was going to be where I wanted it and I've moved it off to start sticking things down I've matted my photos to help them not get lost in that busy busy background there with the tiny little love hearts and I've just added a few of those floral embellishments and that cute little blue gingham tag up the top there and adhering it down. I really at this point I was thinking oh my goodness this is so not me this is this is not working it's not coming together and I just thought I don't know I don't know what to do I'm just gonna have to keep on going and that's that's where I was at but what I think that was really stumping me was my background the gorgeous little black and white heart that's on that background just a delightful piece of paper but what I thought was it's just getting too too much and so I was trying to make a way especially with that lighter section at the top so I thought I would make try and make a way 
to sort of bring it all together. Um, and you'll see me here in a minute. I'm going to start hand drawing some stitching on there to try and help this layout come together. But first, I'm just going to try and find a few sweet embellishments um, just to sort of make this layout come together. And I've picked a black one here. This is a Vicky Booten chipboard sticker sheet. It's an older one, but I really love it. And I'm working my way through it, trying to use things up. And that pop of black is that is come together. I'm also thinking at this stage, how am I going to get this, this title right? How am I going to get it so it's not, I'm not going to lose... I'm not going to take over my photos, but I'm not going to lose the title. Like I, I'm, that's what I'm sort of thinking in my process at the moment. And clearly, you can see that I'm really struggling here to put some embellishments down and and make it kind of work because this is not how I usually scrapbook. So I'm sort of stepping outside my comfort zone. So crafters stick together. I like the slogan there. So I, I went for this um, Paige Evans. Thing and thought right I've got this embellishment then I realized that purpley color is does not even match the Lola collection so I let it sit there for a minute I love the scripty font and I'm gonna draw on some hand stitching here to try and try and pull this thing together and try and get it to turn into a layout and so you'll see me do that but all the while I'm thinking that together's not right but what title am I gonna do um, yeah I really struggle so yeah it's a bit of hand stitching always is a good idea to let your mind think and processing processing and here you go it's got to go this is I'm putting it back on there it's got to go I've got to come up with something else and so as you can see I'm digging around in my embellishments and then I head over to my I leave I'm, I've left here and I head over to my um, sort of my sticker bag which has all my um, thickers in it and has all my stickers like this and I found a together that I was much happier with so it this beautiful now i can't remember what collection this is from but it's a mag definitely a maggie holmes one you can tell that scripty font's definitely hers but i just really wanted it to i just really wanted to pop those black sections off and that together i thought the universe was looking after me with that <laughs> to try and draw some other black elements in i've grabbed a few little leaves and i end up with a gorgeous epoxy black heart and you'll see it's sort of starting to come together but once again i want you to hang in there and there's some photos of my layout at the end but i actually end up adding a little bit more off camera because i'm just feeling that crafter stick was not jumping out enough for me but here I am I'm just adding those embellishments I'm trying not to use up every little bit of space on there and then I'm just trying to work out ways to to sort of bring it all together here I am trying to skirt around with these embellishments do you ever have this problem let me know in the comments do you have trouble when you're trying to pull this lay pull layouts together and it's not your usual style and you know you just you know it's just not working it does i end up loving this layout i think anything with lot the lola collection on it, it i'm gonna love but i was just really sort of struggling putting this one together um thinking about journaling and how i would go just adding that who what where when kind of feel i it talks for itself i know that i know that i was at the crop and i i host these crop by crops by monthly as this is a regular part of my life and then I went and pulled out this Heidi Swap sticker sheet this is one of her older ones but I knew I had these gorgeous tags there and that would pick up that little bit of yellow that I used in that ink to sort of blend out behind that cut file there so here I am I'm just going to add that little bit of embellishment and then what I do is I think I need to bring it together more and I add stitching hand drawn stitching like I did before around the entire entire layout again and what that does is really borders my borders my layout and sort of brings it brings it all in I also then at the end go back and I draw with my black pen 
a thin line there you go see as you can see I've stitched all around the edge and then I've popped that word stick off with a thin black line border around there and as you can see it sort of just brought it all together and I ended up being really happy with it so it's a bit of a higgledy piggledy process video but I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you enjoyed talking it out letting me talk it out or hearing me talk it out um, but layouts sometimes are like this but you know, you still get a lovely result and a memories well documented. All right, guys, take care. Happy scrapping. Bye.